My name is Alfaye Bamiyo Kumfemi and I am a student of the University of Lagos, Nigeria. I am currently studying surveying and geoinformatics engineering. I'm in my second year and I also work as a front-end engineer for an international company. I got into software engineering during my GSS3 um, summer break. My uncle um, paid to have me enrolled in this um, all-girls summer camp. So basically, they were taking girls and teaching them um, about computer science and software engineering and all they could do with it. I was able to see what I could do and then I realized that it was actually very interesting and there was loads of money there. So. Being a student and a front-end engineer is definitely challenging. I would not say I have, like, all my days are happy and stress-free because they are not, they are always stressful. But I feel time management has really helped me. Being able to, like, um, no, I don't procrastinate a lot because I don't have the luxury of procrastination, right? So I tend to like set, I, I tend to write down what I have to do and by God's grace, I finish it. My typical day would involve me waking up around 6.30 to 7. I get up, I say my prayers, I get ready to leave for school. Let's say 8.30 to 9, I get to school and I carry my laptop and I go to an office. So I sit down there, I bring out my laptop and I start working until I have classes. I go for classes and I'll like go back there. On days when I don't have classes that run late, I just run back home and do my work. But most of my meetings, I, I get to schedule them in a way that they don't like fall during times I have classes or I don't have like maybe long classes so I could just join in after and I don't like miss much. So I'm unsure whether working and being a student um, affects my academic performance. I have worked like almost as long as I've been in school. So is that I have a job or a gig? And yeah, to be honest, eh, I'm not doing bad. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, I don't think it affects me that much. Looking back, I am very, very grateful that my uncle made me take that part. I also made me because I was supposed to go for camp. And then he was like, go for this thing, and I didn't have a choice. I was very angry at that point, but that singular decision has got to be one of the best decisions that someone has ever taken for me, or me have taken by myself, because I could have said I didn't want to go to. Definitely, I love what I'm doing. I really enjoy the path I'm on now. Software engineering is like really, really amazing. It's really interesting. And besides the money, which is a very, 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 very good motivator, if you ask me, besides the money, I really enjoy it. I would encourage everyone to get into software engineering, especially the females. So there is still the market demand for females as software engineers. You are, I, I believe that anyone can learn anything they set their mind on learning. So it's not just, a, it should not be a male dominated field. It should not be, I don't know mass things. It should not be, my brain cannot carry it because to be honest, Anybody can do it. You should take that bold step today by applying to Old School Africa's pro diploma program. I mean, it, not only is the tuition quite small, you don't even have to pay until after you get a good job. You don't have to be good in maths, and you don't have to have prior or previous experience in software engineering. Just come as you are.